Hello, just a small amendment to the video. Since recording the video, Stanley has very tragically passed away. And I just wanted to say that my thoughts and feelings go out to his family and his loved ones. And I am both astounded and proud of the outpouring of respect for the man online and in real life. And it was as reaffirming as it was tragic. So, yeah. Thank you, Stanley, for everything that you gave me and the world. Hello, and welcome to Four Colour Reactions Issue 7. I'm Led Sharp, and comics reflect the world. This is the second time I've tried to record this because I really got quite irate on the first one mellowed out and yeah feeling a bit more optimistic now. This is a subject that I have not wanted to cover for reasons I'll explain. Comics gate. You may think this is a stupid word and it is. Stupid word developed by stupid people for a stupid purpose. Much like Gamergate it is basically a collection of no marks who agitate people young comic book fans uh, who don't know any better yet, old comic book fans who are drowning in nostalgia, who just want the days of the straight white man back. I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to tell you who are the proponents of Comic Gate because they're not worth it. These people are trying to rally people for their own political ends through a medium that I happen to love. They are trying to weaponize the industry. To give you some example of what these people are like, some time ago, the basic core of Comicsgate came to the front when Heather Antos and a group of female editors at Marvel posed for a picture on Twitter, all drinking milkshakes, celebrating the life of the sadly passed Flo Steinberg. They were having a drink in her memory. And the people behind Comicsgate saw this as virtue signaling. They accused Heather Antos of horrible things. They perceive anything different to the straight white male as a threat to them because they're pathetic. Comics reflect the world. Good comic reflects its environment. The world is made up of a vast and varied collection of people of all different races, colours, religions, creeds, sexualities and genders. Now if you don't like that, nobody is forcing it down your throat, especially through the media that you enjoy. Nobody is putting a gun to your head and forcing you to read the female version of Thor. The answer is make your own comics with your own message and when people don't buy your comic, don't blame the SJWs or the liberal media or the left wing industry for your failings to understand that the world is a melting pot of beautiful diversity. I'm not naming them. I have the names right here. I've looked into Comicsgate for the sake of this. They don't deserve to be named. Not because I'm scared of legal action, not scared of them. Anything that I would use in this video to identify them would come from facts. So they wouldn't have a leg to stand on. But I'm not naming them. I'm not giving them identity. I'm not giving them a place in the medium. I'm not giving them a part of the coverage that the medium gets. I'm not crediting them in the industry. And I certainly won't mention their bloody comics. These people are simply afraid of diversity. They feel threatened. So they find the disenfranchised, they find the young and the easily influenced, and they try to rally them against something that's impossible to rally against. There has never been virtue signaling. There's never been diversity hiring in the sense that the people are hired on the strength of their gender or their race or their creed. If you're the right person, you get the job. That's all it is. If you happen to be black, meh. 
if you happen to be gay, yeah. if you happen to be a straight white guy, yeah. it doesn't matter if you can do the job. But here's the thing, and you've seen it in the midterm elections with Muslim governors and gay governors and things like that being come to the fore and people saying, well, why is it a big issue? When will it never be not headline news? Because it still is. These people are the first steps towards acceptance, not the last steps towards acceptance. And when one day we can go, Bob Smith has become the chief editor of Marvel Comics and it doesn't matter what his background is, only his ability. And that's a good thing. But if you're only going to hire straight white men, then you are cutting off a huge portion of incredibly talented, culturally rich and beautifully diverse people purely because you're an arsehole. So make your own comics. Produce your own material. Get it published and get it out there. And speak through your work. Don't form a fucking hate group and try and influence the industry. Be an artist, be a writer, be a creator, but be a human being about it. You see it in other media. You see creators trying to weaponize terminology. Yes, JW, virtue signaling. There's nothing wrong with standing up for social issues. Get enough snowflakes, you have an avalanche. And those poor buggers in charge of Comic Gate are just scared of getting buried. They don't appreciate that people like Heather Antos will dig them out, regardless their idiotic politics so yeah take care and have fun reading comics